when you do an architecture, uh, cloud architecture, whatever, you have to look at redundancy, you have to look at failover, you have to look at resiliency operations. And believe it or not, people have a tendency not to look at them because they view them as very expensive. They're not that expensive, certainly if you're leveraging you know, alt cloud alternatives that are normally le much less costly than the hyperscalers out there. So we have to build these failover capabilities. We have to test them. So these can't just be a checkbox exercise. And obviously many people have assumed that the redundancy um, that they would need to build in the architectures isn't needed because they view the hyperscalers as having the ability to do that. Hyperscalers have some redundancy that's built into the systems or else we would see more outages than we did this week. But obviously it's not, it's not foolproof. And so things go wrong. The hyperscalers, no matter how well they run their infrastructure, it's going to go down from time to time, just like we saw with AWS. Um, we need to expect it and not be surprised when it happens. And we have to assume the worst and build redundancy, build resiliency around these architectures. Most enterprises aren't doing it now. Big consulting firms aren't advising them to do it. And this is killing us.